Hey guys, how's it going? We have a quick update for you. We will go over the light curve of Tabby Star that has been updated for today, October 20th, from Tabby's team. So guys, this normalized light curve was provided by Tabby's team, and it shows the flux level of Tabby Star taken in the R band from two observatories, one in Hawaii and one in Spain, and circled in red is the current flux measurement, which sits at approximately 0.4% above the nominal flux level. As you can see, at least the last eight days have been consistently above the nominal flux level, and most of the error bars of these data points do not touch the nominal line. So there is no question about it. There is some brightening happening, and it's up for debate on what is causing it and how long it will continue. But for now, we are averaging approximately 0.25% above the nominal line in the R band. By the way, guys, just so you know, this winter, Tabby Star will slip below the horizon for most telescopes and observatories around the world. So David Lane, you know, uh, since he is way up north in Nova Scotia, Canada, will be uh, one of the only observatories that will be able to view Tabby Star. So he will be the primary game in town. So we just uh, about have enough data from his new methodology to begin accurately following the long-term trend of Tabby Star. So we will continue to provide updates throughout the winter months. It should be interesting to see where the long-term trend takes us, and uh, we will provide that to you throughout these upcoming cold months. Well, that's all we have uh, today. You guys take care of yourselves, and we will see you in our next update.